Hi, my name is Ian Hatt, and uh, I'm going to be talking to you about uh, a project we're working on at the moment to develop a, an augmented reality field trip for geology students, um, primarily for geology students, but this will also be available to uh, schools and members of the public as a free, free downloadable application. The idea is that the software will run on a, on a, a smartphone or a tablet, it will be a downloadable app, uh, and at its core will be the uh, route finder. So this will take you around, uh, around the field trip circuit. For, in the first case, this will be around uh, Hope Valley, Needale, uh, for the first, the first one of these that we're putting together. But the idea is that we'll have a framework and a model that can be then be used for any location or any set of data. So as you move around your, uh, as you move around your route, your, uh, your GPS route finder will tell you where to go, which direction to go. Um, and then you'll interact with the environment through two types of hotspots. There is an area where once there was a mountain range that no longer exists. And we'll be able to put a hotspot on that hotspot area. So as you're walking around the route, at any point that you're interested in what used to be over there, you'll be able to see through your phone, through your phone screen, you'll be able to see a hotspot on there. Select it. And then this will bring up information about what you're looking at. You'll be able to see what would have been there in the past, an artist's impression, if you like, of the mountain range or what have you. Uh, and again, various other options that might be appropriate to that location. Um, so when I say options and information, these are the kind of things I'm talking about. So we'll have the full audio commentary of the, uh, of the trip provided by uh, uh, the, uh, the program director of the MSC Environmental Sciences. Um, We'll also have the reconstruction of the kind of geological features that have been there in the past but are no longer visible. Um, we'll have a number of activities, so there'll be some little quick quiz type questions that will be asking you about the kind of thing that you're seeing and um, just to, you know, so you can interact with the application for more. Um, and there'll be a full suite of MSC level activities. Obviously MSC students doing field trips take measurements and observations and these things will all be included as activities. They'll be there as interest, for interest only for the members of the public that are using it. Uh, but obviously for MSC students they need the full package. Uh, a couple of other little bits that we'll be adding on. One will be a, a set of geological maps of the region. So the idea is that wherever you are, or at certain key points that uh, we've identified as being interesting, you'll be able to uh, again click something that will give you a core sample of the layers of geology that are going on beneath your feet, or take a cross-section of part of the landscape and see how the, how the geology changes. Um, another interesting little app that will be tapped onto, the, uh, tapped onto it will be what we're calling a fossil finder. So the idea here is to help you find fossils or, or other geological features, which can be quite small and difficult to find on a, on a large sort of route. Um, but the idea will be that you'll have uh, an overlay uh, of an image of, of a the skyline or a rock face or what have you that you'll be able to register onto the actual environment. So your GPS hotspot will say, right, well, you've, you've arrived here, now look for this rock face north, look for this feature, line that up, and once you've got that lined up with what you're seeing, click the button, and then you'll get a little prompt to say, go there, and that's where you'll find your fossil. Um, and then, of course, when you find your fossil, we'll then provide extra information uh, on how that was, uh, what that once would once look like. Uh, we'll hopefully get some, uh, some images of these fossils from the museum, have a lot of resources like that. Um, and that's about it. Uh, thank you for your time.